I think women can do anything. Well, I mean, just because they can doesn't mean they should, right? <laughs> think about women fixing cars, driving a taxi, installing some drywall. Why not? No. Look, trust me, a girl like you, you don't really want this. A girl like me? Yeah. I mean, I want all my options available so I can decide for myself. Ah. Uh, Miss Independent. <laughs> That's right. It's me. I love it. Mm. Come here. Mm. Oh. Mm. Except, you're sitting here eating my food, enjoying my view. By choice. No, I chose you to join me. <laughs> I chose to make you notice me. Ah, oh, mm-mm. That is not your choice, Sabina. Mm. That is God's gift to you. <laughs> mm. Gosh. But don't you think it's sort of what you do with those gifts that really matters? Mm. Every one of us, mm. men, women, we all just want to fulfill our potential, live our heart's desires. And that's the kind of world I want to live in. Ah. Uh. Well, my world is me making millions with you by my side. <laughs> mm? It's just that I'm so good at so many things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like what? Well, mm? at my job, it's actually considered a huge advantage to be a woman. Hmm. Yeah, if you're beautiful, nothing else is really expected of you. And if you're not, you yeah. Pretty much rendered invisible. And in my line of work, mm. invisibility, mm. low expectations, <sighs> they come in very handy. But I do not to casa. No way, Nadia, do I rad, I see it, do not casa. So now we, I'm in your school, yeah. I street Portuguese. I know. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Did you know? What? That it takes men an additional seven seconds to perceive a woman as a threat <clears throat> compared to a man. Isn't that wild? Oh, me? <laughs> Just the decoy stud. You must be the accountant. Who are you? Open the safe. Oh, baby, baby. You swiped right. I'm your girlfriend now. Everything in the bottom row. Let's go. You're not cut out for this. I recommend a new line of work. Bosley! Evening, Angels. Ah, all oh, this looks very promising. Outstanding. But what about Australian Johnny? Ta da! Oh, oh you're gonna regret this. I was gonna give you the well. The thing is, is, you just talk way too much, and you're super clingy, and you come on way too strong. And you are the most incredible woman that I've ever met. I know. So that's four months surveillance, two countries, and the most embarrassing date I have ever been on in my life. Yeah. Are we good? I will address this to the US Justice Department, along with uh, all your new friends here. We're good to go. Sweet. I'm out of here, man. 
I'm gonna take a week off, party my ass off on a Thai beach. Jane, you should give it a shot. Beaches, letting someone play with your, uh... I have fun in my own ways. Ah, cool. You sharpen your samurai swords at night? Cosplay Catwoman? I'd actually pay to see that. Occasionally you eat gluten at night and feel a little... Oh! That was fun. So, who were they? You are in the presence of angels. But the question is, Johnny, who are you? Got your bands up, got your head held high like you starstruck. You a boss, you know how to run a bag up. You know you gon' win a race, tell them catch up. Trailblazing, don't it feel amazing? Knowing that you the road going off the pavement. After everything said and done, you done made it. You never stop, I know that's why they hatin'. And um, shout out to all the real ones with the bases loaded, but your home runs. Hands up around the world, let me show you love. Show a mouth. You were late. Mr. Fleming is waiting. Oh, uh, wasn't the meeting set for 9? Yes, 9 a.m. is when the meeting starts, which is exactly now. Have you ever spent time with him, Mr. Brock? No, of course not. He had me over to his chateau, which is in France, and we were sitting there, and I'm asking him. I said, Mr. Brock, have you ever heard of Humphrey Davy? And he says, no. Oh. I say, have you ever heard of Joseph Swan or Alexander Ludigan? No clue. So I say, okay, uh, what about Thomas Edison? Well, of course, who hasn't? He invented the light bulb, right? Uh, but guess what? So did those other three guys before Edison. But Edison was first to market. Do you see my point? We have a product that will revolutionize the power industry, but we have to be first. The time is now. And that's what I told Mr. Brock, and he agrees with me, obviously. I... Elena, thank you so much for coming in. I love how this conversation went. Uh, well, technically, I haven't said anything Oh, uh, let's not get caught in a game of who said what, right? Mr. Fleming, I know how important Callisto is, okay? I'm the lead programmer on it. It's my baby. Yeah. But as I wrote in my report, right now, there is a possibility for the harmonic range to be reversed, and, and we both know how dangerous that could be. Well, I mean, you don't know what I know. <laughs> You know, you know Julio, the second engineer? He's actually still in hospital after a brain seizure. And he was only partially exposed allegedly, during the security allegedly. test. Allegedly, allegedly. And Julio was an idiot. All I need is root access and some time to permanently fix the flaw in the blockchain so that it will stay safe. Ingrid, can I get a cappuccino? Okay, I read your report. I've had others read your report. We just simply disagree with you. Has Mr. Brock read my report? Because I really think that Let me be read... crystal clear here. We have developed Callisto for five years, and we are going to market. It is safe, and it is ready, and that's what we're telling Mr. Brock. And you are telling Mr. Brock nothing. Look, Elena, you're much too smart to keep pushing this forward, aren't you? I knew who Humphrey Davy was. Good for you. You dropped something. Oh, no, that's not mine. Well, I don't glitter, so it must be yours. You might need it. 